All right, today we are doing a haiku project. And if you are in my class, here's what you need. Straw. This is black watercolor ink, so it's really cool. Uh, be careful with it though. And then you should also have a piece of watercolor paper. And here it is. So we are going to do some ink blowing and then we are going to write a haiku. So here is an example of a haiku. What makes it special is the structure. A haiku has three lines, and the syllables are really important. So, butterflies are cool in the big, huge green forest. They fly up so high. Butterflies are cool. That's five syllables. The second line, in the big, huge green forest. The second line has seven syllables, and then the third line, they fly up so high. One, two, three, four, five. Has five again. These are the only rules. Your haiku has three lines and it goes five, seven, five. Five syllables, seven syllables, five syllables. And we are going to pick a topic based on the ink blowing that we do. So that one's about butterflies. Here's one that a student did and they did an ink blowing and they thought it looked like a tree. And they also thought it kind of looked like a dancer. So here's their haiku. The tree shaped by blue from a little drop of paint looks like a dancer. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Five, seven, five. I'm going to show you how to do the ink blowing, but here's the trick with this project. The trick is to not think that you know what you want to blow with the ink. If you've already decided that you want it to look a certain way, then you will be disappointed and you won't really enjoy the project because ink blowing um, doesn't really work like that. It's a little bit random and it's just fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to blow the ink first, then step back and take a look at what we think we've created. Now you can do it here in the middle or on the left or on the right. You can put it on the right hand side and then write your poem over here or put it over here and put your poem over here. It doesn't really matter. And once you blow your ink, you might actually turn it anyways. Okay, but just know that you want some space on your paper to do your poem. I'm going to give you a couple examples, and I haven't written my poems yet, but here's some ones that I blew. So this is the first one I did, and I only used three drops of ink, and I didn't blow super hard, which is fine, but it was hard for me to get a lot of movement. And it first looked like that, and then I flipped it over and thought it kind of looked like an octopus or an alien or something like that, and I think writing a haiku about an alien would be really fun. And then this one... I used about three drops and it was tricky to get a lot of movement so then I put some more ink over here just to have something extra. And you know sometimes it doesn't feel like it looks like that much but we've been reading in our reading group about asteroids and the dinosaurs in some in one group so I was thinking you know maybe I could write an, a poem a haiku about an asteroid or about the dinosaurs so you can get really creative and you can also flip them up and down. So. These are my first couple, but then I practiced a little bit more and got a little bit better. This one, I used about eight drops and I put all the drops in here. So then when I was blowing it, it made this really big section and then I was able to come. I blew a lot harder on this one. So I still put my straw really close to the page so it wouldn't go everywhere, but I blew a lot harder on this one so I was able to spread more and I used more ink. I used eight drops so there was more to work with. Then I kind of played around with it and just turned it around and I decided that when I turn it this way I think it kind of looks like a dancer. So maybe this is what they're wearing that's kind of flowing out and this could be their ballet shoe. So I'm going to write a haiku about a dancer here. Okay. And this is my favorite one that I just did. I used eight drops 
and I started here and I blew really hard to get it to move. And then I was turning it and blew that way and I turned it and blew that way. You have to work fast before the ink settles. This one kind of looks like a tree like this. So maybe I'll write about a tree. I like trees. But if I flip it like this, it kind of looks like a mountain or a volcano. And I think writing about a mountain, I would like that more than writing about a tree. I could also think of it like a camping tent or a fort. So you can really interpret it however you want. But the key is to wait until you blow the ink and then decide what you think you created instead of deciding ahead of time what you want it to be because that takes the fun out of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and make one. So make sure that your space is protected. This is an art desk. You can see I have paint on it already. I'm an artist, so I didn't cover mine, but if you are at home, you should absolutely have paper down or newspaper. Here's the ink and here's the straw. Shake your ink up a little bit. And then we're gonna put, I, I liked doing eight. I felt like eight was a good amount. And I wanna put them all in a similar place. And if I wanna then go add more later, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna blow maybe that way. We'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I got a big, and I'm gonna blow really close to the paper. Pretty lightly at first, and maybe I'll go harder now. You decide how much you want to do and when you want to stop and if you want to add anything to it. I will say if you add a ton of ink, the paper will get super wet. I think eight drops is a good amount. To me, I'm going to flip it like this. It kind of looks like some kind of insect or creature, doesn't it? Like almost this like mystical wasp that has all these legs and maybe it's a unicorn. That's all right. Kind of looks like a bird. I think this is my favorite way. And I'm gonna think of it like some kind of mystic animal and I'm gonna write my haiku over here. Okay, so I think this is like a unicorn bug and I think it's kind of sci-fi. So I'm gonna start with mystic unicorn. That's five, so that's my first line. And I'm using a pencil so that I can go back later and trace it. Mystic Unicorn, okay, or are you a bug? Either way, nope, that's eight. Or are you insect? That's no, the same. Or are you a bug? Anyway, that would work. Mystic Unicorn, or are, and I gotta fit the whole line on here, because if it's not the three lines, it's really not a haiku, so I need to write this smaller. Or are you a bug? Anyway, so that's my seven lines, five. And I already know my last line. I'm gonna say, I invented you. <laughs> I invented you. There you go. Mystic unicorn, or are you a bug? Anyway, I invented you. And that's my haiku. And I know that I wrote with my pencil, so it's hard for you to see, but I'm gonna go back and trace it in marker later. And I really had no interest in making a bug. I don't dislike bugs, but I don't love bugs. But that's okay, because that's what I ended up with. So the fun of this is just to let go and just see what happens and see what you create and how creative you can be with what you make. <laughs> 